This here's the June sucker of Utah Lake's 13 original native fish species. He's the last man standing. He's been called puny, trash fish, ugly. But the reality is he's a tough son of a fish. And like most Utahns, he's made it through mostly by grit. Things started getting tough when settlers in the 1800s got a taste for the June sucker. He was frittered, fried, and filleted from Nephi to Bluffdale. Not to mention the settlers brought some fish of their own. Outsiders. Fancy tassel-wearing non-native outsiders like bass and carp. These resilient invaders are basically the cockroaches of the water world. You know the drill. This lake ain't big enough for the two of us and blah, blah, blah. But Utah's own June sucker managed to hold on. Even when droughts in the 1930s made it possible for ranchers to walk from American Fork to Saratoga Springs through the lake. But little by little, over the years, the June sucker was forced off of their land and onto the official endangered species list. Which is a problem for Utah, because the June sucker is what's called an indicator species. Basically a measure of how healthy the lakes and rivers are. More June suckers in the lake means cleaner water, healthier plants, and more plentiful native species. So him being endangered meant Utah Lake was in trouble. Fortunately, June Sucker had a few friends in their corner. A coalition of nine organizations, including the Central Utah Water Conservancy District, the Utah Department of Natural Resources, the Department of the Interior, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and a heap of other folks looking out for Utah, started putting in work for the June Sucker. Constructing June Sucker hatcheries and creating the Provo River Delta, breeding and releasing more June suckers into the lake, sitting down and figuring out the best way to feed and raise the tough son of a fish. So this new generation of June sucker is tougher and hardier than any before. And June sucker, well, he started winning back ground. We're taking population growth. And finally, in 2021, June sucker was officially downlisted from endangered to threatened, a feat only accomplished by three other fish before it ever. But are you really surprised that a Utah scraped his way back out of the dirt? We aren't. All of this hard work means Utah Lake and Provo River are cleaner than they've been in decades. Native fish and wildlife species are returning and thriving, and the lake is becoming beautiful again. So I guess you could say the June sucker's the opposite of a trash fish, because the cleaner and healthier the lake is, the more he thrives. Join us in putting June sucker back on top and continuing to clean up Utah Lake and the rivers around it for a healthier, cleaner Utah.